YouTube. How's it going? It's Jesse back for number two video. If you watched the first one, thank you. And if you came back for more, thank you again. So for this video, I'm going to do a roof rack. I already purchased it. I did some research on the roof racks and you can go on eBay and get a cheapy roof rack anywhere from 280 or you can go up to a thousand or even more. And uh, I went in in the middle, a little bit on the lower medium price range. Uh, I bought a DV8 roof rack. It was uh, $4.99 with free shipping, which isn't too overly expensive. It's not cheap, but it's not overly expensive. I looked at the reviews. It had uh, mixed reviews on it. Uh, a lot of people said it was good. A lot of people said it wasn't heavy duty, which it probably is not a heavy duty one. Uh, the capacity capacity on it, I think it was a hundred pounds. But I, mainly for me, I just want it for looks, and I want to put be able to put a LED bar, light bar on top. So that, that's the reason I wanted it. I mean, I'm not gonna put any heavy stuff on there. I don't know. I might have gone for a more expensive one if uh, I was really into 4 by 4 or overlanding and was going to put heavy equipment. So, yeah. So, uh, let's get going and see uh, how it looks and see if it's really flimsy or if it's sturdy. Let's check it out. Alright guys, here's here's the, the rack. I unboxed it already. Uh, it doesn't look too hard to assemble. looks pretty straight there's no instructions so you might do some research but there's no instructions but there they are labeled the crossbars like this one's number five four three two and then the front one is number one and then that one's number six and then these say left and right sidebars so Here's the cross. Here's the the hardware, and uh, let's get to it. All right. I hope you guys can hear me. It's windy outside. It's super windy. So the first step in the process is you got to remove this uh, little little rubber strip that goes from the front to the back. And the way you do it is when you get a little. A little pick plastic make sure it's plastic so it doesn't scratch just shove it right there in the gap and you just lift up it should pop right out and it's gonna have some double-sided tape on it so it's gonna be a little sticky or it's gonna want to stick so then just toss that away for now and we'll clean that up later. And then you just pull up on this. Just pull up. there it's done and then just put this aside so that's what it looks like you have a channel you can have some double-sided tape there I guess to... what you're trying to get at is there's some uh, holes I guess you can kind of see Right here underneath there's two mounting holes and then right here there's two more and then up here that's where the rack goes bolted down to but if you look over here you can peel it Let me 
try something. Hold on. All right. So instead of peeling it, because that's what I've seen online, everybody says peel this up and then you'll see the the holes underneath. Well, I, I found it easier just to poke them. You get a little uh, razor blade, and you, if you push on it, you can feel the the soft area where the hole is. And you just grab the razor. poke down and just cut it the little hole out need to get a real sharp razor this one's kind of dull I need to change the blade anyway you get the point there's the where you bolt it down to it up a little and just do the same for the rest so do the same thing on the other side take this the little rubber piece off and and then uh, do the same to get access to the holes so I'm gonna do that and then we'll go to the next okay so check it out that's what it looks like that's the front side and then that's the rear so don't make the mistake I did and did the one in the middle because it's not needed. So just remember, two in the very back, two in the very front, and the one in the middle you do not touch. That's why there's videos out here. So you don't make the same mistakes that I, that I just did. But I just filled it up with the silicone so it should be okay. It shouldn't leak. Okay, another tip is uh, you get the screws that come with the kit and before you do you put you install the rack or anything go to the the holes that you just uncovered and stick the screw in there and make sure the threads are good because you don't want to find out that there's a cross threaded and uh, you'll have to do uh, a repair but apparently these cars are known these trucks are known for uh, for these uh, threads not to be good so just thread each one make sure they, they're nice and clean and, they, and, the, and it goes in and out pretty good okay here are the screws and bolts and these little ones that will smaller than these these are the ones that go for the side crossbars these are the crossbars they come with a bunch of washers and the, the fatter ones right here these are the ones for the sides there's uh, these are the ones that go to the side there's the washers so that's that and then there's these two big ones I'm not sure what they're for I think they might have to do with maybe a light bar mounting or something but when I get to that point we'll uh, figure it out all right so on these holes before you uh, bolt anything in put some uh, silicone so just put a dab of silicone in there that way no water will get into your headliner and do that the do that to all the 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 holes and once you do that you want to line this up and put the bolts in all right the next step is to install these bolts these bolts so you put them in so you put the silicone in and then you you screw the bolts in but do not tighten them because you want you want it loose so you can make any adjustments so just bolt it down but you know leave it a little loose and do the same on the other side and then we'll go from there 
Okay, after you got the side rails on and they're not tightened, they're still loosened, you got to put that front piece, it should be piece number one I think it is, the crossbar number one, and it came with this little like uh, trim piece, make sure you put that on, it comes as a roll and you just kind of like put the channel in there and push it up and it goes all the way across, there's no trimming. And then to put that piece on, you have to put this, the, the Allen screws. But on the back side, you can't really see it, but on the back side, it's held by a nut. And it's kind of hard to put on. So just take your time, put the screw in. The nut in the back and just finger tight don't tighten anything until all the pieces are in so you start with the front after you get the screws in loosely and then we'll go to the back all right i got the back piece in it's the same situation here where you got the allens by the way they're four millimeter allen and then back side it's it's the nut so you gotta put the L in the nut on the back and tighten it but like I said leave it fingered loose for now everything's still loose uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is this one next which would be the second one to the front and then you just follow until you're until you get to the, the last one and leave them finger finger loose and then once you have all the bars and everything all finger loose you tighten the base so then you would tighten the bottom over here tighten that side and the four corners you tighten it down and then you tighten the front and you want to this thing's adjustable the front piece is adjustable so if you want it higher, if you want it lower, you make your adjustments right here. It's got the holes are slanted, so there's adjustment. And then same with the rear. It's gonna be the last piece you adjust. But you gotta be careful with the fin. So you gotta adjust it and make sure there's enough uh, gap back there. So the next time you see it, it will be fully installed. One other thing I forgot to mention on uh, the rails. So this is the front one, number two I think it is. It goes this way with these little tracks. They have to be facing up. Not, not this. This is the bottom. This is the bottom side. This is the top side. This is facing the sky. So it goes like, like this. On, on the top and the reason that is is this this is meant so you can attach different uh, things whatever fittings you put on there they're meant to attach things on there you know. all right it's on there it took a couple hours because I was doing the video but if I wasn't doing the video I don't know I'd say maybe an hour and a half to do it by yourself probably say maybe an hour if you had some help it's, it seems pretty sturdy I mean I like the way it looks if it it's uh, pretty close to the body and one tip here there's like a little there's little holes one little drill hole on each side make sure if you're doing this deviate that that hole is on that side because I guess they're directional so every single one has a hole on that side of the, of the car so these go facing up the hole goes on the passenger side and that's it everything's on there the, the bars do get pretty close to the top of the roof but it doesn't look like it's touching so I guess that's good so that's that's 
That's my uh, roof rack. And keep an eye out for the next video and see what uh, what the next mod will be. See you later.